Well, hey guys, uh, it's me. I just shot my the cash vault tutorial, um, and uh, I'm still here at the park. I just decided, uh, I don't know, I'd sit here and talk with you guys for a little bit. Don't know what I want to talk about. Um, I just figured it'd be nice to connect. You know, I haven't actually really talked to anybody today. It's a day off of work for me, thank the heavens. So, let me just like reconnect, rekindle with you guys, if I can. You know, every day feels different. Every day is different. A lot of times we fall into like the same patterns and routines. That's just the way our brain likes to work. That's kind of the way society is structured. Routines and set things like that. But I just want y'all to remember that you can make every day as cool as you want. And uh, even if nothing cool is happening in it, then you can just change the way you look at the same things. You know, the world is, is influenced entirely by your own perspective. Two people could look at the same thing and say completely different things. You yourself could look at the same thing two completely different ways. Use your insight. Well, I hope uh, all y'all out there are living a fulfilling life, satisfying your dreams and ambitions. I live my best life, at least I believe I do. Some days it feels like slow, like nothing's happening, my dreams are not coming true, blah da 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 You know, it's easy to get hopeless sometimes, but you have to remember that every little thing you do does help. Every little good thing you do that makes you feel better about yourself at the moment is helpful. Everything you do to prepare for tomorrow is helpful, but you shouldn't do that at the expense of the present moment. You know, there's a, there's a lot that goes on in our brains and around us. This crazy dream that we're in, society and expectations and all that. It's easy to get lost in all of that noise. But at the end of the day, and throughout all the days and nights, it's, it's just you inside your own mind experiencing it all. So you can choose, in a way, how you perceive things. You might have a, a boring day and be bored, or you might have a boring day and be enjoying the quietness. You might go to work and be upset that you're at work, or you might be happy you're at work. And you'll find that the energy you give out always comes back to you, good and bad. Not to say that, well, I have a few different perspectives. You know, in some ways, it's easy for me to look at the things around me and say that the world is subjective entirely to me, and things happen because I'm experiencing them. And that's a cool perspective, but you know, not everybody thinks that way. Sometimes I can think myself out of that kind of thinking, so... You know, let's just say, for the sake of simplicity, that the world is not created in your own mind, that we are inside of the world, not just that the world is inside us. Well, if that's the case, then you just got to take it as it comes. If there are so many factors that are really out of our control, then you just have to learn how to hold your own, how to be satisfied with what you can do every day to have fun, to make this a worthy existence. You know, it's a pretty cliche statement here, but, you know, some people have it pretty bad in the world. Some people haven't, uh, haven't left the game of survival yet. You know, and all the time I say to myself, like, I really wish it was still survival based. You know, like I had to hunt for food or grow food or trade food or something like that. You know, because to me that feels more real. Like, we're all just animals in this world, but we're so smart we've, we've put this big filter over society, with society over the world. Such that, you know, we're just animals that are born and we're like, there's uh, lights and cameras and cars and sophisticated language, but really underneath every single thing that we know, we're just uh, living animals on this planet and we've 
just mastered survival to the point that it almost doesn't exist for us anymore. Where our troubles are what we're going to do today or I'm depressed because I've lost my cat, <laughs> you know? It's such an artificial world and sometimes it, it's very helpful to to take a step back and just let go of all of that and, and just realize what you are. You're a magical creature. And it's amazing that we ended up here. You know, we could have been a, a deer or a falcon or something and I'm sure those have the cool things as well, but we, everyone watching this video, uh, is able to perceive this because the circumstances are perfect for us. You ended up as a human being in a time where uh, we've got mastery over electricity and now you can just look at this video on the internet. <laughs> you know, in some ways it makes no sense at all how it all happened like this. But I think it's really cool. I think we live in a really cool world. And uh, I appreciate how cool it is. Even though it feels a bit fake to me. Now that's part of why I, I've been enjoying street beef so much. So much uh, of just training for fighting. Because to me that's, that's one of the only things that I have left. That's the only connection I have to that lost world. The same world we live in that is hidden by everything else. You know, in this world of laws and rules and false order and puppet shows, I can still connect to my primal self. To me, there's, there's nothing quite as special as that. Some days I get discouraged, because to me, it's, then it's about winning or losing or doing good or, you know, everything that is involved with the sport of fighting, the technique, the games of it all, but... But you know, no matter what, I'm just so grateful that something like, like that we're allowed to fight still. That there's, that you can get hurt. That you can hurt other people. And, uh, and we've learned how to control that. We've learned to master violence now. It's beautiful. Because in the real world, you do have to fight and hunt and kill and steal and protect and destroy. But in here, you know, it's... Oh no, I'm going to be late for work. Oh, I got to drop $3,000 because my car broke down. I keep saying similar things, but I hope you understand the pattern that I'm trying to make this third first world problems I guess we could call it new world problems and while they are real problems for us I suppose our interaction with the world is affected by these things I just want you to remember that you are more than what you understand and that the world is more than it seems you can always make a great change in fact um a little phrase I came up with yesterday when I was thinking is, uh, you can do so much more than influence the odds. You are the even. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna bother explaining that. I just want you all to think about it. And, uh, you know, just take some time to enjoy the sunlight. Don't worry about, uh, objective or subjective success, failure. I just want you guys to be happy just for this day. And I'm speaking to myself as well. <laughs> so y'all, uh, you just stay safe now and eat lots of cheese and drink Fiji water. Maybe go swimming. I don't really care what you do, honestly, just as long as you enjoy yourself. It feels like so sad to say goodbye to you guys, but well, I guess I'm uh, I'm gonna leave you guys behind now and do my own thing. I'll go to work so uh, I can put this video on the internet so you guys can see it. Goodbye.